the last three decades, video games have been available to consumers, serving as a unique form of entertainment, thrilling the youth, but almost consigning the traditional full games. Video games come in various forms. Some of them include shooter, fighting, adventure, and survival horror games. And they come in handy on the internet, and in recent times, can be purchased on the market easily. Some scientists and psychologists argue they have benefits, including sharpening the smartness, creativity, self-confidence, and self-esteem of children. A study by the Michigan State University's Children and Technology Project revealed children engaging in video games can make decisions 25% faster than those who do not. Several other published studies indicate video games have far negative implications on children compared to the apparent thrill and advantages they offer. And the implication is that you're having children who are going to have some interpersonal problems because right at that stage they have missed the opportunity to relate with the very people they are growing together with but relating to strange you know faces relating to gadgets relating to some uh, models they are beginning to even learn from people that are far away from them and when you have a case like that it's difficult for children to even see what is right what is wrong in terms of relating and growing up the exposure of children to these violent video games experts say have aggressive feelings and thoughts as they watch the killings kicking stabbings and shootings the child learns things that are not even within the cultural milieu where he or she is growing up you see so maybe he's learning how to shoot uh, people uh, on, on the computer whereas in our, for example in Africa we, we don't learn to shoot you see so don't be surprised you hear that uh, in the US you just find a child taking the gun and go to classroom and start shooting because children learn and they model upon what they see and all that so I think if a child is watching the computer, playing computer games, he is playing in a virtual world, a world that uh, is, is uh, virtually not real. So all the things he's learning there may not be applicable in the real world. It means that the child is also becoming more individualistic. Children who spend more, more time on the computer are now coming to the real world and have no social skills to connect with others. That is something that is happening in advanced countries. Some games have sexually provocative scenes, controversial language and substance abuse explicitly portrayed, which tend to teach children wrong values. Again, many point to research which show that children who spend a lot of time playing video games perform poorly in school. As I'm talking, my child is in a room locked up playing computer game and he's okay. He doesn't mind not talking to anybody, but in our days, you hardly stay without talking to a friend. You move to know what is happening to your friend. These days we have a lot of kids committing suicide. They wouldn't voice out what is happening to them because they don't have friends. They don't have people they trust. So even if parents are disturbing them, if you go out, you can tell your friend, this is what mommy is doing, oh, it's normal. Your friend can advise, oh, forget. When he says this, you to give her this answer. And that problem is no more in the child. This is no bottling up in the child. But here's the case, we don't play these games, we don't talk to our friends, and you can uh, attest to the fact that these days, 10 years, 9 years, 12 years, they are committing suicide. And there are health implications too. At the end of the day, lack of exercise can lead to them uh, developing cardiovascular disease at even a younger age. Because in Europe, in other places, we have kids who have so much put on weight, and that they are developing these problems. Um, the point where they are even on medications to avoid cardiovascular loss with the high levels of cholesterol, among other things. So we would advise that as much as possible, parents should really act swiftly to encourage their children to go down and exercise, to play their normal football. The ladies can play their ampe and they run around because it's quite important that this, uh, this things to happen. Because if not, by, by the time we realize we are dealing with obese children because they don't exercise and there's also lack of social interaction so virtually that family bond 
is getting also eroded as a result of these games. Contrastingly, experts in child development argue that traditional games have socio-psychological benefits for the child. These local games are however disappearing from our communities in the face of the onslaught of technology. As a child, I don't have the opportunity to play these local games because my parents have been so protective, we are always indoors. The only games we do play in the house is some, sometimes we do play the video games on our mobile phones, we do indoor games, they don't normally allow us to go out to play some of these local games. I don't think the older generations taught the, uh, the new generations how to play all those kind of local games. I think all local games must be encouraged because it educates us a lot. Experts recommend parents must set limits for children on how long and how often they should play video games or be on the internet and with supervision. So parents should wake up and deny them when the need arises. Just take the, take the games off the children. Let them go and interact. Let them come and interact in the, in the living room with the family. Let them go out there and play. The surest way, many agree, will be to balance the benefits of technological advancement while retaining and promoting cherished but dying traditional folk games. I believe that we are able to even recreate a game like draft on the floor, big enough for us to use long uh, uh, poles or sticks to play. Now we will actually be doing better plotting, better planning, better, setting better traps and things like that. These are things that I expect the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts to really encourage people you know, to be doing so, such that the games will be taken you know, not necessarily changing the, uh, you know, the, the basic principles of the game, but improving on the value you know, and the quality of the game and also making, it, making them a lot more popular so that it can even attract tourists. As far as the technology is concerned, there's no reason why you cannot put some of these things onto IT. Absolutely not. You can do, you can do any of our games through IT. I, I really think it's, it's a lack of, of um, maybe respect for our own um, um, you know, culture and, and our doubt in ourselves that this culture can actually be part of the contemporary um, world as it, as it were.